Hey, what's up? Uh, this is a tutorial on UDP receive and send and OSC data over multiple standalone applications. Uh, first off, I'm receiving information from Oscillator, which is connected to two Wiimotes, and I have each of the Wiimotes um, getting sent out to their own individual port. So Wii 1 is connected to port 9001, and Wii 2 is connected to 9002. So let's go to the standalone applications. Um, if you don't know how to create the standalone applications, you can check out uh, my creating simple standalone applications video. Uh, so the initial problem is you can't connect to multiple ports uh, on different apps. So if I connect to this first port 9001 and try to do the same thing on the second app, it can't do it because once it's bound to a port on an app, you can't bind it to another one. So in order to unbind it, you have to create dummy ports and have it connect to that, at which point it frees it up for the other app to pick it up. So here I can take uh, different um, ports and send them to uh, the, the different applications pretty easily. So now say you want to be able to send a single set of OC, uh, OSC data to multiple standalone applications. Um, I'm going to set everything to a, the dummy ports. And what you want to do is have a master UDP application. And at this point, it's connected to 9001, uh, and I can't... I, I would have to close this app in order to connect again to the 9001 port on either one of these apps. Uh, but that's um, not important right now. The important thing is that I'm taking UDP receive on port 9001 and splitting it up to a UDP send on my local network. Um, so this is the, the same IP address for everyone if you want to just work locally. And then if you happen to have your IP address for a different computer, then you could just put it in there and it will send it to it. And then you create a, a new port to send it out to. And so you're creating however many ports you need uh, for however many applications you're going to send it to. Once that's done, then we can go back to our standalone applications and connect to those ports and start receiving the information on those. And then you can do the OSC route stuff, um, but that's that's the gist of it. Hope it was helpful, and I'll talk to you later.